Hi guys, it's Big Healthy Tracy again and I have some green hair. Today I am wearing a party wig that I bought from eBay. Um, I think it's from a place in China. Um, it, it was less than a tenner. I wanted to try green hair without actually buying the lace front wig. Um, so comment below what you think. Anyway, that is not what I'm talking about today. Um, what I want to talk about today is body confidence again. As you all know, I am a Body Image Movement Global Ambassador, part of the Body Image Movement um, founded in um, Australia by Taryn. Um, she's got an amazing book out called Embrace, um, with the ha and we all use the hashtag I have embraced. So I want you guys to take photos of yourselves, show me who you are, hashtag I have embraced, so I can see you guys and your beauty and know that you're kicking it out there with your confidence anyway that is not what I'm talking about but I do want to talk about confidence um, and in particular doing things that people think you can't do because of whatever reason have you ever heard the um, phrase you can't do that be careful you sure you're able to do that I know I have I know I have done a whole lot it's been ridiculous how many times I hear that um, it doesn't matter what situation you're in, you'll probably hear it in all kinds of things. Um, mine, in particular, is exercise. I always seem to hear from people um, who, you know, genuinely probably care and want, want to make sure that I'm okay. They want, they tell me to be careful at different moves, as we all know. I am doing beach body challenges. Um, that's my year of the beach body challenge. And there's a lot of plyometric moves. There's a lot of jumping, a lot of um, stress on your muscles and your joints if you're not careful. Form is so important and so key because you could easily really injure yourself. So people tell me, they see me, they, you know, they see that I've got asthma and that I'm big and they tell me to be careful because, it, you know, the people that do these plyometric moves are very lean, as <laughs> part of a better term, very lean, very ripped, very, very strong. But, you know, it's not, to me, it kind of gets my back up a little bit because why should I be careful? Of course I'm going to be careful. That's a given. I'm going to be careful. I'm not going to, I'm not about breaking my bones or, you know, putting myself in traction for months and months because I feel like doing a genie jump and I do it wrong. I'm not about that. I have a feeling that it's not because of these sorts of things. These people don't necessarily know intricacies of the exercises that I do that for they know they could be super um, simple but they tell me to be careful and I feel like it's because of my weight and they you know tell me especially they tell me that you sure you, you always ask me the question are you sure you can do that but, but why because I'm, I'm big like why, why do you think I can't do it it's it's crazy and I hear it from so many other people that people you know they get the same thing they always they've always gone through life thinking they can't do things because other people tell them they can't do it. I've heard from other people who said that um, they have had, you know, they've had low self-esteem and, and low confidence about taking on tasks because they've been told that they can't do it or they get a raised eyebrow when they say they're thinking of doing something. And in particular, it's been about modeling, putting themselves out there, maybe starting a blog or or doing anything like that, then people are like, are you sure, you're not going to be successful, like, you know, they put, put dollars on you, but I'm here to say that the only people or person that knows what your limits are is you, you only know what your limits are, because all your limits are in here, you could be so surprised at what you and your body could do if you just let it. Honestly, if you just let yourself do things, I always thought that ah, oh, you know, I'm I will never be able to run. I will never be able to do a plank. I'll be never never be able to do anything. Like honestly, I never thought I would be able to do Insanity Max 30, but I did it and I smashed it. I absolutely smashed it. I I got so much stronger. I never thought I'd be able to do the plyometric moves in Hammer and Chisel, and I did it. Yes, I had to, sometimes I had to modify it when I started getting tired, but I did it. I just thought, do you know what, before 
I stopped myself from doing it before I've even tried. I mean, let me just try these moves. And I did it. I did pistol squats. Never thought, I looked at the pistol squats and I thought, that ain't gonna happen. I can't squat on one leg, are you mad? I did it. I squatted on one leg. It was ridiculous, honestly. I never thought I could do the surrender knee things, honestly, where you have to um, go down, go down your knees, up on your feet, down on your knees, up on your feet, no hands. I mean, when I get up off the floor, it's it's a struggle <laughs> and it's real, honestly. But I did it. I did it. You can do whatever you want to. You've just got to try, everybody. You've just got to try. You've got to embrace the desire you have to do something because it's for you and just do it. If people, t yeah, people are going to tell you, oh, be careful, um, you know, it, it seems a bit difficult for you to do, are you sure that you want to do this, it might go terribly wrong. They're going to be the people that are the doubts in your, in your mind, but you'll never, 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 ever know whether you can do it unless you try. As, you know, as um, Walt Disney says, your dreams will only come true if you have the courage to pursue them. It's true. If you, if you don't have the courage to put yourself out there, out of your comfort zone, you will never, ever get to where you want to be or be the person you want to be. Whether it's your body, whether it's your mind, whether it's your job, your, your, where you live, your relationship status, anything like that. The only way you're going to be able to change make a change or do something for yourself is by actually doing it dive in take that leap you will end up doing what you enjoy it's just amazing just dive right in there anyway that's all from me it's a quick chat chit chat confidence chit chat and i want you guys to have the confidence to do one thing this year that you've either been told that you couldn't do or you've been doubting yourself that you could do and just do it dive in comment below and tell me what it is and dive right in let's do this together let's be in this together i want you guys to do something that you've been told and you've told yourself that you thought you could never do for whatever reason it is and just do it and let me know how you get on i love you guys so much and keep watching Thank you for the support again. Nearly 230 subscribers. It goes up every video I do. It's just amazing. Um, you know, make sure you share this video with your friends. Task them to do it. Let's start a tag, actually. Let's start a I have embraced tag. Embrace something that you've always wanted to do, but never thought you could. Or people put doubts in you as to whether you could do it. And Instagram. The, Hashtag I have embraced, Instagram it and embrace that task. Whether it's take a photo in a bikini, whether it's anything, it could be a, some anything as small or as big because it's going to be big for you. And I can't wait to see it. I will be watching. Make sure you tag me, Big Healthy Tracy, in it in Instagram. Tweet me as well, same name, Big Healthy Tracy. Facebook me again, Big Healthy Tracy. All of my social media um, pages and stuff is down below in the description box make sure you tag me in anything you do and until next time guys make sure you like comment subscribe share the love the joy the wealth we're perfectly flawed you are more than enough i love you guys so so much and i will see you next time bye